Hey, hey, Zion Iman. Um, I'm just going to give you all some feedback on your project here, since I probably won't get to see you before the Christmas break. Um, so this is just a short video showing some things y'all did well and some things you didn't do well when you were modeling your parts here, just so you can correct it when you do your uh, second iteration that's due after the Christmas break. Uh, so this one you did really well on. Uh, so things I'm looking for, I'm looking to see if you have all your uh, sketches defined, the dimensions of that are defined, um, then you made this, the dimensions of that are defined, that hole, yeah, I've seen that you've m made that hole, it's over here, it's fully constrained, it's in the middle, that's really good, you have a dimension for it, um, and then did you define... Okay, so this hole, you did define the diameter of it, but you did not define the location this way. So that's something that you'll need to define because that's an important dimension for that part. And you did link it to, to that, so that's good there. Okay. Now just to note, as we talked about, <clears throat> if this is for your trigger, um, you probably don't want your hole such a close diameter to the diameter of your pencil because uh, you would want the trigger to pull out easily and 7.6 millimeters is be fairly tight on the pencil and it won't pull out easily. Anyway, uh, let's look here. I think similar things. Okay, that's defined. That's good. That's defined. Let's see if you define the location of these holes. Yeah, okay, this one you did. You see that? You define that 20. It's fully constrained. So that's very good there, and you mirrored it. That's that's excellent. Okay, um, here. So remember, one of your design intentions thing is that this hole be the same diameter as this hole. If I just look at this, I think it looks like this thickness here is different than that thickness there, just by looking at it but I don't think you intended that for your, maybe you did, I don't know, for your design. Okay, that one's 7.8. That one is a diameter of seven, right? Is that right, let's edit that. Yeah, you've made that diameter seven millimeters. I think this was the one maybe well, your, your pencil was too small to fit in there, possibly. Your pencil will not fit in that. Okay, so that was too small for your pencil to go in. But at least the modeling is good. Now let's show you something here. Um, let's just kind of walk through it. Okay, so you've defined all those dimensions. That's good. Okay, here's one thing. Notice that dimension's not, re you defined it, but uh, I mean, I don't think you calculated that. You made it bigger than necessary. Um, you should calculate a, a better number there, maybe make it 60. I don't know what it should be, but that should be defined. Also, the location is not defined, and that's important to have. Okay. Uh, the other thing so that circle is not defined as well. Notice the location nor the diameter is constrained. Okay. Now if you, I think maybe you meant to put it on the edge here. Well, if you wanted to do that, I could project this geometry and do a tangent constraint, make this tangent with that. So that's always touching the edge. And if you wanted to put this along that center, you could add a construction line vertically like that, and then constrain this to be here. And now the only other thing you would need is whatever dimension you need. Now that's fully constrained, but before it was not fully constrained. Also notice, I think your design intention is that this be the same as that, but when I changed that diameter, this one did not update. This one did because you mirrored it, right? You mirrored it, that's good, but that one did it. So you will need to link those somehow. All right. 
Um, let me see. Also, another major thing is that the location of this um, is very important for the design of your part, but notice it's not defined. Right? You've given the size and the height, but not the location left or right. That's not defined. Okay. And as I showed in class, you need to define the size and location of that slot there. Okay. All right, those are just a couple things. So make sure your sketches are completely constrained when you do your next project. All right, good job, guys. Keep it up. I uh, hope you can work on this over the break and have, um, have a project that's working well.